This video is going to show you how to conduct test retest reliability analysis in R. I'm going to show you how to do an interclass correlation and how to produce a bland Altman plot. So this is basically going to show you whether a measure is stable over time. So we need a few packages. We just got the read Excel package because we're going to pull in an Excel file. We've got the psych package, which is loads of psychometrics. It's a brilliant package. You use it for all sorts of things. And this bland Altman package as well. So we're going to those, need those packages. Of course, if you already installed them once, you don't need to install them again. But you do need to pull them out of your library each time. I'm also going to turn off scientific notation because I do that for everything I do. And this is the data set that I'm going to be using. Now, this data can be found in the link below this video. Just remember, this is the path on my computer. You'll have to change it to represent the path on your computer. So we're going to read it in and we're going to call it ATGCTRT. Um, this is because it's the scale. If you've seen some previous measure my psychometric videos, and um, it's the attitude towards goat cheese scale. And TRT just stands for test retest. So we're going to run this in and then we can just view it here. So this is people's attitude towards goat cheese at time one and then the attitude towards goat cheese at time two. So what we'd expect is people's attitude towards goat cheese, the worst food in the world, is going to be relatively constant over time because it's always horrible. So if it's horrible, uh, uh, one week, it's going to be just as horrible three weeks later. And anyone who thinks otherwise is completely and utterly wrong. Anyway, don't care about my vendettas against goat's cheese. And I'm just also going to attach the file as well. So we don't need to link it to the data set each time we call in something. So there's our data set there. The first thing to mention is that often when people do test, retest, reliability analyses, what they actually do is they just correlate the two measures. So for example, we could just type core.test, correlation test between attitude towards goat cheese time one and time two. Often people will run this and they'll get a correlation and say, oh, look, these are really highly correlated. That means there's test, retest, reliability. Well, that's actually technically wrong because things can be highly correlated, yet the scores could be very different. So if we think about it, we go back to our data set. If I added 10 to all these scores here, the correlation coefficients would remain the same as what I've produced from this data set. The correlation would remain the same, but the scores would be very, very different. They'd be much higher at time two. That's why you shouldn't use correlations because they're technically not a measure of stability. They're a measure of how associated two sets of variables are. So instead, what we should be doing is our intra-class correlation. This comes from our psych package, and we just type ICC, intra-class correlation. I can just read in this data frame, which has only got two columns in it, so I want to do the intra-class correlation on this. So there's a few other little commands following this. We've got missing equals true. This removes missing data, so it does complete case analysis. The alpha, well, that's just the alpha level for the significance. So it's going to produce p-value and it's going to produce confidence intervals. So we'll get 95% confidence intervals. LMA equals true. This is a way of handling missing data and it's um, true by default. And for check keys, this is default false, but I've just typed it in so you can see it. If it's true, it will reverse items that don't correlate with the total scores of the reverse scoring. But that's essentially it. In fact, we could simplify this command even further because we didn't really need these two things to be stated. I just mentioned them because they may be important to you. We could actually get rid of them because those default to be true and false, respectively. But anyway, let's just run our full command here. And here we go. This is our intra-class correlation coefficient. You see it produces many different ones here. You need to use the correct one in the correct circumstances. What we need to use here is ICC2, because this is a two-way random effect model. This treats the rater of the random effect. We've only got two raters. This is what we're interested in. This is our intra-class correlation, and it's 0 
There have been argued to be cutoffs, which you can now see on the screen for this. It depends how you feel about cutoffs, whether you want to use them or not. But we can see we've got our interclass correlation. What we've also got is our, our p-value, the significance of the interclass correlation, and confidence intervals for it as well. We can write this up. We can just, if you want, just report the interclass correlation. So we can just simply say test tree test reliability was good and give the interclass correlation of 0 0.80. If you want, you could add the confidence intervals for it, the p-value as well. That's up to you. Just report them like any other p-value and any other set of confidence intervals as well. Now, that's our test tree test reliability. Now, we could also produce a bland Altman plot if we wanted as well. So to do that, our command is bland.altman plot. So nice and straightforward for us. And what we do is simply we put the two measures that we want to look at how associated they are. So we've got time one and time two. Title, test retest, our x-axis label is means, our y-axis label is differences. And then we click run. If we zoom in on this, there we can see we've got our differences and the means, and then everyone's sort of plotted. So if you're on the zero line there, well, that just means that there's no difference in your scores. We've got exactly the same scores at each time. And essentially, what we want is we want people to be within these two lines here, and people up here outside the lines, this one has a very, very different score. The score difference is quite large between the two time points. In this case, we've got a few others here and a few that are lower than it. We want people to be clustered around the middle. So that's just a visual representation of the test retest reliability of this data as well. As ever, the code for this is below, as is the data and so on.